Hello everyone and welcome to video number 27, part B in our survival game series done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies. And in this video we're gonna continue with learning mechanism and uh, getting our arms to work inside of our game. Uh, this is part B, so you can just go ahead and click the screen to uh, if you haven't watched part A. Uh, you're probably going to need that in order to follow along with this tutorial. Okay, so let's open up Unity as always. And we can see we have our arms under our player, main camera, arms. And uh, we have the arms controller, so let's go under the assets, under the arms folder, and then double click the arms controller. And this was, will bring up our animator window. And let's just use the ALT key and the left mouse button to drag over to where we have set things up. We could also just go ahead and select all of this and maybe bring it down a bit. That's much, be much better. Okay, so now let's uh, make the hitting and the punching and the uh, swinging of the sword whenever we want to uh, kill an enemy. So to do this, we start out by dragging in a new animation. I'm just going to make a new state since I can't really drag in from the project pane right now. So let's just right click on some empty space, hit create state, empty. Now select it, rename this to hit 1. The speed is 1. Change the foot IK to none, so uncheck that. So go to motion and let's select a motion under the assets. And this one is going to be punch right. And let's see where it, uh, where it comes from. It comes from there under arms, arms 5 FBX. That's exactly where we want it. Now let's make some transitions for this. So let's go down here. And let's uh, make a transition from the idle. So right click on the idle, hit make transition and click on the hit one. This transition needs to do uh, to check for something. But let's first make sure it blends correctly. So uncheck the atomic, go to the end of the idle animation, hit play. That actually wasn't too bad. But we can try tweaking it a bit. So zoom in using ALT. All navigation is done in ALT. Now we can maybe try squeezing this in so there isn't so much blending. That's a little better. So we get more the uh, harsh and quick punch. I like that a lot. So let's keep that. The condition is something we want to change though. So uh, let's go ahead and hit make a new parameter. So hit plus. Let's make this a boolean and let's call this hit 01. So let's go under the conditions, select the hit one and make it true. So if our hit one becomes true, this will blend over to the hit one animation. But we have several animation. We both have one for the right arm and the left, left arm. And so I think we should get the hit 2 in here also. So it create, uh, create state, empty. Let's call this hit 2. Let's uncheck the foot IK. Go under motion, assets. Find the punch left from the arms 5 FBX. Double click that and now we have it in there. So now we can go ahead and right click on the idle, hit make transition, and then click on the hit 2. And here we can have the speed be 1, and we can have the punch left. And so we can uh, select our transition, go under, con uh, go under the atomic and uncheck that. And now let's take care of the blending. So if we zoom in, zoom in some more. Maybe bring down this a bit. Let's see how this looks. That was maybe a bit too quick, so like that. That was actually too slow, so like that better. 
and that looks awesome. So uh, now that we are happy with that, let's change the condition. So go down to the parameters and let's make one more. So hit play. Or, or hit plus, I should say. Rename it to hit two. A type boolean. And let's then change the condition to hit two. And to be equal to true. And so now uh, we will play the hit one when the hit one parameter is set to true and we will play the hit two when the hit two parameter is set to true. This will allow us to, when we make the script, to randomize what uh, arm is going to hit something. We could either randomize it or we could just make a change so it would be right, left, right, left in intervals. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can also make a, a series of numbers uh, or boolean events, it will cycle through, so it will be right, right, left, right, right, left, left, and then loop. Um, but that, that's all up to you. We're going to take a look at that in the future. So for now, let's just get this set up right. So when we hit play now, and uh, click the, the hit one, it plays and then it just stops. We need this to blend back. And also I notice one more thing. We have some clipping going on in the right hand corner if we just play this one more time. So let's just go ahead and uh, adjust that. And I show you this in a previous video. So select our main camera, go to the clipping planes and maybe bring those in even more. So something like 0 0.01. Let's see if it's working now. If we could get this playing there, it's still clipping. So we might need to change up the scale or move them a bit since the clipping plane is already really, really low. So I can see it. It looks like our right hand is a little bit much to the left. So let's just move that a tiny bit. See how it looks. It still clips through, so we can maybe bring them down just a bit. And we can also scale them up or down, depending on the result we want. Now they are a little more centered in the scene. I actually want to bring them even more over to the right hand side, even though this looks weird. So we might just want to rotate them a bit like that. That looks better. Now that was maybe a little too much. So we can bring it back here. This is really just about tweaking it until you get the results you want. So let's just see if we can get the hit animation to play again. Oops, I can see I have renamed the hit two. So I'll just name that back again. That was non purpose. So hit play and check the hit one. And now we can see it doesn't clip through. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now we can go ahead and make the backwards transitions uh, for the hit animations. So let's select the hit one, hit make transition, and then click on the idle. Now you can click the transition and go under conditions. And this time we actually want to leave it at the exit time. This is because we want the uh, hit animation to go back to the idle animation whenever it stops playing. And this is done using the exit time. So let's uncheck the atomic. Let's zoom in here and see if this works right. So when this hits, that's maybe a little bit too much blending. So just bring that in a bit. And I really like that. So now whenever, uh, whenever we hit something, it will automatically go back when it's, uh, the exit time is done. Uh, one thing you will notice is whenever you adjust this transition, the exit time changes and the other way around. So that's a really handy thing to know. Okay. So let's do the same with the hit two. So right click, make transition 
click on the idle, click on the transition so we can make changes, go under the exit time, zoom in here, and uh, uncheck atomic, hit play, and we want to bring that down a little bit more, like that, and hit play. And I like that, let's just have another look. It jumps a little bit, so let's see if we can take care of that. Might be a little bit too smooth. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so the exit time is 0 0.82. Great, so now we're, that we are happy with that, we can go ahead and test it in game. So hit play, check the hit one, and it will automatically loop because the uh, it's still set to true, so we hit it goes back to the idle, it recognizes that the hit one is still true, and so it, it plays the hit one again, and so it loops. But if we check the hit two, and uncheck the hit one, it will start playing the hit two animation, and everything works. And in the script we are going to have it so that it only becomes true uh, for a very short amount of, uh, amount of time, so if I just quickly double tap this, we can see that it works, and the same with the hit two. Okay, awesome. Now let's do the same with the swing animations. So if our idle with weapon is true, meaning that we have our weapon on, we want to not play the hit uh, or the punch animations, but the swing animations. So let make some new, uh, let's make some new states, and I'm going to do this rather quickly since I've already showed, uh, shown you the process. So create state empty, select the state, rename this to swing 1, make the speed 1, uncheck foot IK, go under motion, go under the assets, then go to the uh, swing, 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 there we have it, uh, that one, swing one, and uh, let's make some, actually let's import the other swing animation too, so create state empty, rename this, swing two, uh, uncheck foot IK, motion, assets, and let's find the swing two, that one, Let's uh, input that. So there we have it. And now we can make some transitions. So from the idle with weapon, we want to right click, make transition to the swing one, select the transition, go under the hit one because we can use the same variables since uh, Mechanim will make sure that we have our weapon on and, and so it won't play these uh, hit animations over here. So we can actually reuse these, which makes it much, uh, much easier. So if hit one is equal to true, it will blend like this, and let's see how that is. That doesn't look too bad, let's see that one more time. Pretty good, let's just bring in the blending a bit. And I really like that. That's my phone going off, sorry, I'm just gonna have to pause this for a quick second. Okay, sorry about that, that was really unprofessional, but let's just uh, pretend it never happened. So moving on, so we selected our transition here and uh, we unchecked atomic and now let's go and make sure it blends correctly. So that looks fine. And then condition should be hit is true. Let's do the same with our swing two. So idle with weapon to swing two, select the transition, turn off atomic, make the condition hit two is equal to true. And let's just adjust the blending here, so not that one, but that one, and bring in that one, and there we go, and let's see if this is good, that looks great, and now let's adjust the backward transition, so let's make them, so right click, make transition, idle with weapon, uh, atomic, exit time, and uh, let's see if it's feeling good, so might be a bit too much. That doesn't look too bad, maybe give it a little more. That was too much. So just, let's just leave it there, try with that. And let's do the same with the swing two, so there. Actually the swing one, let's make that even smaller now I think about it. That looks better. Now select the swing two transition, bring it in the fading just a bit. The condition should be exit time and now check uncheck atomic. Let's hit play. 
and that looks smooth let's just watch that one more time and i'm pretty satisfied with that so now let's try and run the game and play around with these uh boolean parameters to see if they match up so uh check the weapon is on and we can see oops we have an error here in the blending and that is because we need to select our player our main camera and the arms and then at uh, uncheck the apply root motion remember whenever something uh, fades weird or doesn't show up that it's playing we just need to check or uncheck the apply root motion it's a bug inside of unity mechanism okay so now we have our weapon on we hit the hit one and it plays and uh, something is not entirely right with the way it loops I don't really like that. And in the hit two, we have some clipping and a little jumping too. So in the swing one, let's just adjust it to have a little more of a fade curve. And the same in the swing two. And let's also go under the arms in the scene view and maybe bring them forward a bit. Let's see what works because we have quite a lot of clipping going on still. So that looks fine in game and maybe we can bring them up also. It might be too much. This is really just about playing around. So uh, let's see if we hit play now. And we have the weapon is on playing. They are too far from the camera. So let's stop playing, bring them back a bit. That was a little too much. Hit play. I like that. Uh, now let's hit the hit one. And that looks great. So we have some nice blending there. And the hit two. We still have some clipping uh, problems to work on there. And then the... Uncheck the weapon is on. And hit the hit one. You can see that working. Now we have some more clipping issues. And the same with the hit too. But the animation are working. So now you just really need to uh, move them around, scale them around, and um, rotate them until your clipping issues disappear. And remember, you can also always adjust the clipping planes. Actually, I know what's bothering us here. Um, the, uh, the main camera is what is drawing our uh, everything except our arms. I remember in the last tutorial we uh, made it so that we have a separate camera called draw always uh, which, would, which would draw only our arms here and we didn't adjust the clipping planes on that so that's why we are having so many clipping issues so you can just go ahead and bump that down to 0 0.03 and let's see this working hopefully so now let's hit something there we go that looks awesome Hit the other way. That looks good. Turn off the weapon. Hit something. That looks perfect. And hit something. And now everything is working perfectly together. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was a lot of fiddling around. Um, but also there were some cool tips and tricks. And uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video.